Alright, so we've got Mangle and Springtrap. But now we're bringing another one into the mix. It's just one of my favourite ones, same as these two. And this one turned out very, very well. And it happens to be a favourite of a certain YouTuber called Jacksepticeye. Because I just watched one of his videos. He's really hilarious, guys. should go check him out. And he even said that this character was his favourite. So let's get these two out of the way. And as soon as I remove this, I mean, I think you already know by the script, by what the title of the video is, but... This one was the easiest and the quickest to make. It is... Drunk. <laughs> it's drunk. <laughs> it fell over as soon as I put the cover off. <laughs> it's withered, Bonnie. Oh, God. Yeah, um, as you can see, this is the withered Bonnie. Uh, it's, um... This one was, I wanted to build this because Artsy Rushes with the volume was amazing. I mean, mine's good, but not as good, I'd say, in some ways. I mean, mine doesn't have the wires on the head, but <sighs> I just didn't feel like putting them on because I, I think that they kind of hinder the face. I mean, we want to see his face without flipping, you know, all the stuff. But anyway, from this stance, he looks really, really good. I like the way he looks just standing there like that, looking at you with those dead eyes. And again, he's got the teeth. He has an, the inner teeth as well. So let's just take a close look up at this figure. Um, as you can see, he is again molded and clay. And this ear actually broke off today. Um, so I just glued it back on. The funny thing is, actually, is I was able to fully paint him all today. Because this this uh, teal colour is actually acrylic. Uh, it's the same stuff. It's all made by Humbrol, but it's not a good, it's not an enamel paint. And this is a little bit sticky. But this, these buttons failed so many times, I had to keep wiping them off. But, I mean, it turned out really well, though. So, I'm happy for that. And I think this guy turned out very well. He's turned out just as good as the others. As you can see, he's got one endoskeleton foot, one non endoskeleton foot, one, well, basically a suit foot. And he's got his hand, which again now has posable fingers, you could say, because he can bend them, but I'm not really going to bend them that much. So, as you can see, he has the bow tie and all that. He's got some wear here and wear black patches on his leg. He's got a bit of a black part in his armpit there so yeah um let's get to the articulation so first of all his head has a very if i can get the camera to focus a very very nice range of motion you get a nice range of motion the head can look up and down a very nice range of motion indeed so you know you can get him in some pretty good crawling poses uh like he's crawling in the vents uh, he very nice range of motion. I think the, the head's one of my favourite parts. The head articulation. This arm does not articulate because it actually broke on the inside. But that, per personally, it, it doesn't make much point. What's the point in having it articulate? Because he's what he's just got fucking wires, hasn't he? So what's the point? Now, even though that broke, it doesn't stop this arm from articulating. This arm can still rotate three sixty. Can go in and out. It can bend at the elbow. The wrist can. Bend and rotate around, and it can actually as well turn that way a bit, which is kind of cool. So it can turn, unlike spring traps who couldn't. His waist rotates, but it's also been built like this deliberately so that it can crunch. He can crunch at the abs, rock side to side, so you can get him into some very good crawling poses. And also his legs go out at an angle, I pull but the joints off and then glue, re -glue them on at an angle. So his legs, same with the other leg. It comes out at an angle. The knees bend. The feet also bend. And they articulate. Um, size comparison with the other two. Just give me a sec to stand this guy. Because this is this is this guy just looks absolutely amazing, just stood there like that. He looks like all slender. And next to his buddy Springtrap, who these two never actually you never actually see these two together in the game because there's no Shadow Bonnie. If it would have been called cool, Shadow Bonnie, actually look like this, like the withered one, because then that would be cool. Springtrap's deciding he's not going to stand; he just wants to fall over. Springtrap, unfortunately, has quite loose feet, <laughs> and we'll just get. The mango, 
who I just need to sort out. Come on. There we go. So we got the three. Mangle still being the tallest. The lizard body being the shortest slightly. Because Springtrap kind of beats him a bit. But with, as you can see, I use the original head from the mannequin to build all that. Um, just give me a sec to get all the stuff I used to sculpt with. I have, I used the same stuff. I used Lego, Lego joints. Just give me a sec. I used sandpaper or glass paper. A screwdriver. With him, it wasn't really needed, all this. Uh, scissors for cutting and stuff. Well, actually, no, I didn't use these, sorry. I used a sand... Mangle's definitely junk. I used a sandpaper. The pliers. A wooden mannequin, this is what they look like. Now, if you're wondering why it's got OD, SSOD, it's the OD, the overcharged drinker from Sunset Overdrive. Yes, this is going to be a Sunset Overdrive, the mute, one of the mutants. I do like the mutants in Sunset Overdrive. I think Sunset Overdrive is a fantastic game. And this is, this is as you can see, the, the mannequins, when you put the joints on, they kind of grow at a height. And this is my biggest gripe. Unposable elbows, you can't freaking do anything with them. Unlike mine. I mean, that just sucks. That sucks for posability. So that's why, you know, I used a knife. Now, the clay I used was not DAS colour this time. It was just ordinary DAS, but it's terracotta colour. Uh, and it's this is a big, this is a big... Big slab right here, so that's going to last a while. Uh, it's kind of good actually, and this for just little bits and all that. And also, uh, I've got a split pin as well. Just give me a sec. Here's a split pin. I use these for the fingers and then cut like that, so they, they bend like that. These types of pins. I also use them. I use them for the fingers and the teeth because I got one. Cut it and. Cut it in half, lengthways, and then just glued it in, like that. Hold on, just give me a sec. There we go, as you can see, it is painted white in there, you probably just can't see it. Uh, again, um... There's also Five Nights at Freddy's 4, which I'm looking forward to. It could contain the spring version of Freddy, because this is Springtrap. And if that's and that spring Freddy looks really freaky. So when that officially gets released and we see what the whole thing looks like, I can't wait to make that guy. Because uh, I'm definitely going to make all the characters. I mean, I've got three now. Uh, three Five Nights at Freddy's, and this is my... He's number four out of all my figures. My Bioraps are still not finished. I need a good grey for the skin. But yeah, uh, I actually think with the bonnies turned out well. Post in the comments what you think about him, and I don't know what that spot is there on his hand. I, that it was not supposed to be there. It doesn't matter though. And you can probably see some of the wood underneath. It's probably a bit of clay chipped off for something. It doesn't matter. I'll just paint it in tomorrow again. Here's withered bonnies. Colors are teal, white, black, and a French blue. Mangles are white, pink, red. Black, yellow, and silver, and spring traps are silver, crimson, and brass, as well as white and black. But yeah, um, it's just been withered Bonnie, and I'll just remove these two. Oh, they fall out the way for me. <laughs> and the pose that I kind of like to put withered Bonnie in, because he's all withered. I mean, this is the pose that I like to just stick him in, sort of. Is when he's like that. I sort of leaning to the side a bit, like he's a bit dead. I like to pose him like that. And uh, just do a quick 360. There's not very much on the other side. Again, the paint's chipped off a bit, needs to sort that out. But yeah, this is pretty much withered Barney. Uh, he's, he's a good figure, he looks brilliant from the front, but the back here, he's a bit messy. So I need to sort that out at some point. Can't sort it tomorrow, because I've got prob got things going on. But yeah, um... But yeah, this has been the Archangel reviewing my Withered Bonnie custom figure. 
along with spring trap and mangle he gets a lot he get he fits in very very well and when i build toy bonnie and the original bonnie without the damage because this is like a sort of damage version i can't wait to see those can't wait to see that version uh, of you know make the original body so i can have all three bonnies put together maybe make a custom like fan made shadow bonnie as well because when i make the phantom ones they're going to be the same but they're all going to be black and really dark colors so they'll be like really really dark black they're going to be very very dark colors <laughs> so i just get some clear black wash and just wash them down with it like maybe some watered down black acrylic and whatnot but yeah um this has been Archangel reviewing Withered Bonnie. Uh, please rate, comment, subscribe, post in the comments what you think about him and what your favourite animatronic is and what you want to see built next. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Oh, and don't forget to smash that like button. Like an absolute boss. Peace.